My name is Kurt Seberg. I'm one of the staff artists for the Bare Bones 2020 project called Offerings. And this is a project that, as artists, how do we respond to the events of the past few months? The, the uprising after the killing of George Floyd and <clears throat> the, the arson that resulted on Lake Street with so many um, businesses being burned. Um, so how do we respond to the issues that, that helped create this, um, this situation, um, uh, to the racism, um, to the uh, reaction of the police, all of that. So this project, which I um, co-created with Kari Touring, uh, has to do specifically with um, our, our cultural heritage and how did we come to this place um, that we're in. And um, <clears throat> I've always been interested in uh, my culture, which is Scandinavian and um, Sami. The Sami are the indigenous people of Northern Scandinavia. Um, <clears throat> um, and I've also been interested in, you know, in what happened when our ancestors came over here to America, um, and and how they gradually lost their um, their cultural wisdom. Well. Um, I met with Kari Touring and we threw some ideas out. Um, Kari had this idea of, of creating a loom, which uh, would metaphorically represent what was handed down to us, our, our cultural heritage. Well, what I like about Bare Bones is that um, it, is, it is a community ritual. It has to do with the honoring of the dead honoring of the ancestors and it's really a participatory ritual especially when it when it's involves the calling of the names it gives people an opportunity to grieve so you could say that it, it's like a collective grieving process well the photos are all um have to do with my cultural heritage my ancestry I included some old pictures of Sami, which is part of my heritage. And the, the Sami are the uh, indigenous people of, of northern Scandinavia. They've been there for thousands of years. They still, to this day, retain their connections with uh, nature and are, are very specific to a place. Um, the other pictures are of my own um, family, my grandparents, who immigrated here from Sweden in the early 1900s. And so I wanted to include them because they uh, are part of my family and still remembered um, the places that they came from. I think a lot of the, the problems that we have is that um, we've kind of forgotten where we came from. Um, so, and I, I think that's really important. The Mari Buena piece that I read from is, is from a song called Gula Gula. I chose that one because it was part of the inspiration for this piece. She's asking in the song, she's asking, we can't forget the voices of uh, our foremothers and our forefathers and our, also our responsibility to the earth, taking care of the earth. The poem that I wrote um, specifically speaks to how it is that we became white people. And when our ancestors came here from Europe, they generally didn't identify as white people. That was more of an American thing. Um, they identified by the places that they came from, the, the, the towns or the provinces back in uh, Sweden or Norway. But once they got here, um, because they wanted to fit in, they often like changed their names, stopped speaking the languages that they grew up with. And they quickly found that um, 
there was kind of a racial hierarchy here, and um, which granted them certain privileges that uh, people of color didn't have. So, <clears throat> in a way, they they contributed to the the unequal uh, power structure. So, in my poem, I'm asking, you know, I I refer to the loom as. Uh, as a metaphor for our, like our cultural inheritance, which we forgot when we came here, so I'm asking, um, how can we reconnect with that? Um, how can we uh, reweave the tapestry and, and rewrite the narrative, um, so so that we can actually contribute to the healing of our society?